rest of next year's Division 1B. Carlo, they've been the dominant force so far in that division. The latest team to try to stop them was down. Carlo welcomed down to Netwatch Colin Park and the home side got off to a good start. James Doyle had them two points ahead with just six minutes on the clock. A few moments later, Chris Nolan was in with a chance of a goal, but he was stopped in his tracks by full-back John McManus. The man in the middle, Sean Stack, after a short chat with his umpires, awarded a penalty and McManus was flashed a black card for the incident. Marty Kavanagh stood up and hit the back of the net and now there are five points in the clear to no score. The home side could have had another goal. A high ball landed in on top of John Michael Nolan. He got a pass off to Marty Kavanagh, but his effort went over the bar instead. Down got back into the game. Dahi Sands added one and another from Tim Prenter brought the gap back to three points. Carlo continued to pile the pressure on. John Nolan got a lovely pass to James Doyle. He had one thing on his mind and went for it, putting nine points between them. Down tried their best to narrow the gap. A few from Pierce Og McCrickard and this one from Tim Prenter had them trailing 210 to 10 points at the break. After the restart, Down got a new lease of life when Dahi Sands whipped the slitter along the ground and into the back of the net. Seconds later, they were on the hunt again. Sands added another goal to his name and now with 50 minutes on the clock, the sides were level. Both sides continued to exchange scores, but another goal chance was presented to Chris Nolan. His effort was saved, but Jake Doyle was on hand to finish it. John Nolan, who was brilliant throughout, got their last point of the day to secure a five-point win, a league final spot and promotion for next year. It finished Carlo 3.20, down 2.18.